Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna walk over there, take a photo. All right, I'll. All right, are we back? Are we connected? All right, this sucks. It's probably not gonna look as good because of the, the setup. I'm hanging out with Billy a little bit. Hey, yo. We're walking down. So at the other end of the park, they're actually giving away the comic books in the park. And like, you know, park comics, how cool is that? That's how cool this shop is. Hey, Luffy. Oh, I, I what? walking tours over here, all the stuff that used to be. Yeah. You know what's funny to me? How excited I get. It's free comic books. None of these comic books are worth anything. No, no, no. None of these I mean, got, half of them are reprints. Two weeks, two yeah, yeah, yeah. Weeks. And then all of them are like like reprints, half of them. And so it's like, but I'm so excited to get them. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Yeah. Yeah, Billy's going all over. He's going to like five different shops today looking for I stuff. I my rounds. I pick up my bag. Yeah. I went to Midtown Outlet. I watched some guy. Oh, some guy got caught stealing over there. Really? From yeah. the outlet? At the outlet, you know what he did? What did he do? Um, he printed out his own mystery labels and put them on their Marvel boxes. Oh, so oh, they're oh. independent books for forty dollars a box. Oh, and they caught him taping and shut. Oh, he's a whatnot seller, so they got him on there. Yeah. Oof. Did, did is that how they caught him? Because he had him on whatnot, or they caught no, him they in the store? No, they caught him on camera because they were like, "Hey, we only have four indie boxes. They're all here. How do we sell eight? Oh, holy crap, that sucks. Yeah. Because, I mean, they're already giving them away at 80 bucks. Yeah, for the Marvel books. Yeah, yeah. 250 books. Yeah, 250 books. Marvel books for 80 bucks. So it's already like a cheap ass price, yeah. quarter each. But some dudes are always. And then he printed his own labels. <laughs> well, do you know what the whatnot seller was? So no, we can all they avoid him? tell me because they just banned him. Okay. But he's got his brother coming in, which made me laugh even harder. Yeah. Well, don't care. I mean. I'll do videos. I got tens of thousands of comic viewers. So, like, if they need help with that, because that's that shit is what uh, ruins whatnot. Yes, yes. And right. You don't want that kind of state. Look. Yeah, you don't want it because with whatnot, oh you. Oh my god! It's an outdoor flea market. I know. What is this? Let's look. Yes. Comics. You got comics? Comics. Comics. You guys see comics? <laughs> comics. Comics. Well, I see. I see. Okay, it is a flea market. What is this? It's I fashion though. Yeah, yeah, I do. I get excited even if it's crap I don't care about. Yeah, bingo. Even if there's like a cool hand chair there with ants on it. That looks amazing. Good <laughs> shot of that. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, check this out. Look how cool these are. Isn't that awesome? That is so freaking neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are awesome. Oh. Got a bee that likes me. Ah. Uh, no comics to be seen, though. <laughs> Always worth it. It's, uh, every time I'm at a garage sale or a flea market, you got to ask. Because sometimes i found the best score is just, like, some guy standing randomly next to you and like, oh, yeah, I got something. I almost feel like one day I want to just go to, like, some rural town and walk up to the oldest people and be like, hey, do you know anyone that has comics that they want oh, to get rid of? <laughs> you ever go to the uh, New Jersey vineyards? No, I haven't. It's all, um, it's all, like, uh flea markets inside old townhouses oh really yeah yeah and uh, oh we, that's what so about, so it'd be like a whole block of townhouses with like yeah flea and there's like 40 vendors in each house wow that sounds oh. like fucking brilliant how did, have you been there a few times or just no, one just time? once and i couldn't take it it was just too much it was like was overwhelming like, yeah it was so much uh 1920s halloween stuff and everyone oh shit so you just okay. like you're like i want to spend five grand here yes, yes five grand because i saw it's not cheap no 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 their prices were great so but even a great price is probably like twenty dollars here, ten dollars there. So Bingo. before you know it, you're spending oh, five yeah, grand. Totally two grand. Yeah, uh, I came there for comics. I walked out with three boxes, <laughs> and the guy was like, "I'll be back for more." I was like, "All right." <laughs> so I can hit up random. That's that's always the. It's almost the worst, right? Because yes. then you have to take a whole other trip back out. I know, and it's kind, and there's nothing to do out there. I went with my buddy Joey. It was very romantic. <laughs> we're literally in New Jersey, yeah, yeah. country. Never knew I would say that. Um, I'm glad I'm streaming the free comic book day. I'm gonna when I get back to my place I'll do a haul video so you guys can see what I actually grabbed. We're actually all right So at the end of the park here, I'm walking with Billy bombs and we're uh, we're looking for the elusive free comic books in the park yeah. And then Billy's heading out to like eight other shops yep. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna hit up uh, That weird shop in Jamaica. I don't know that. Oh the the is it Gotham City? No, 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 no What's oh, that? No, How that you... one, Gotham City is actually a weird slumlord I deal with. Is it? Okay. Yeah, he owns that the... one sounds really... I've never been to it, it but it sounds weird. It smells like Cappy. Okay, so everything's pissed on. <laughs> everything's pissed on. There's nothing's for sale. So what, what's the Jamaica one? I don't think I've heard it's of that a, one. It's an optical store. 
Oh, is it really? Op- it's a, literally an eyeglass store. Right. Open once in a blue moon. I'll send you in when he's open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he just does it for fun, so nothing is like. Like I got. So like I know random Wednesdays, like yeah, I have nothing to do. Let me open up for yeah. an hour. So no you can't really plan Connecticut, a trip so. there. I love eyeballs like that because he's always like, oh, do you need like the first Kang? I'm like, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. I got. So he has stuff he probably bought 50 years ago that's worth money now that just like he knows squirreled those, away. He still takes care of you. Okay, so over here somewhere is Free Comics. Yeah, where's this guy? I see a table. I you see, see nerds together. You see? Uh, all right, where's the nerds? Over there. Where? Right at the entrance. Okay, I see it. I see it. Yeah, I got that more for like the right, I'm you... not going to lie to you. I'm just jump on top of the table. Really? We can't have nothing nice. Let's go haggle. Haggle free comics. Yeah, yeah. How 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 low do you think we can get them for? Free. Free? We'll make them make them pay us. To yeah, yeah. How much do you think they'll pay us? Just to get lost. <laughs> I'll pay you to leave, sir. Is Eric? Was it? No, Eric's right there. He rode his bike down. Oh, I, I was going to say. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to. I don't want to miss this. Uh, I was going to say, how did Eric get here before us? He was behind us. Holy crap. So if you guys don't know secretly, uh, we have the flash here. Thank you, no problem. How did I get so fast? I know. How are you, How you doing? What up, guy? I'm Brendan. I'm, Brendan. I'm Billy, great Mets hat. Uh, Thank you so much. Jeez, the flash. I thought you were still at the shop. <laughs> Do you guys have a bag or something? Yeah, of course. Yeah, there's a cool bag yeah. that you get about the comics. How freaking cool is this? They're, they're, oh, sorry. They're in the park giving away comics. So how, how much are the comics? They're, they're free. They're free? They're, they're absolutely free. They Will you though. give me a dollar to take one? <laughs> uh, <maybe>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, investigators. This is so freaking cool. I don't think that... Oh, oh, this is the one that you were out of that one. Yeah, we just got a photo yeah there's a few that we probably ran out of. That one, that Seven one, that one umbrella, <laughs> mech cadets. Uh, it's probably, it's probably Can I grab two of a couple of these? Because yeah, I don't ahead. remember if I grabbed yeah, them in the shop. Right, here's Red Sonia. Okay, yeah, I don't think... It, I think Red Sonia was out. Yeah, Red Sonia was out. Okay. Sure, sure. Oh, go ahead, but I'm sorry. Sweet. Sorry about that. Okay. It's awesome. It's, it's super, super smart. Because Eric has an amazing comic shop in the neighborhood. And today's the day to promote oh, the yeah, awesomeness yeah. of comics. <laughs> and he's, um, you know, people are just in the park and they realize free comic books. Free comic books. Wait, what, wait, what was I trying to grab? I was trying to grab uh, a couple of Red Sonys. Because I don't remember. Yeah, you didn't have those in the shop anymore. Yeah, they right ran off the, out. They ran out yeah. Look how cool that cover is. That is awesome. Was there any others that ran out? I can't remember. Conan. And Mad uh, no, I grabbed Conan. I know I got Conan. Mad Bulls. I did get Mad Ball. I was tempted Umbrella? to just grab the whole freaking stack of that. Uh, yeah, you still had those in the shop, I think. Oh, look at this. So, Eric is biking the stash. <laughs> I got it. We ran out some. Eric. Yeah, yeah. One of these? Uh, yeah, I don't have that one. I didn't get that one. Oh, can I grab actually a, a second one of that? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not grabbing for myself, too. I'm grabbing for someone in Argentina oh, and also, that actually wants them. Also, I think we ran out of this one. Oh, wow. That one's cool. Sweet. New Yorkers do love free stuff. Free okay. stuff. If something, if there was a, a sale right now, oh, comics ten cents a piece, no one would care. Ten cents a piece, comics, no one would care. Free comics, yeah, right. people <laughs> will swarm. Oh, you really planned this out well. Yeah, Did you see the, the parent that put us on the, on the Instagram? Oh, really? PS, oh, PS38 or something? Oh, yeah, the, I guess it was PS38. She put us on the Instagram. She came here. We are like, thank you. And we got the... Yeah, it's, it's coming up. Yeah, so everyone that's watching now, we're actually seeing... I mean, I'm there all the time. I'm there every other week, it feels like. The banner started holding up, and then it was like... I mean, oh. you can... I mean, it's... it's hard fun. Free comics. Was it just keep down, blowing comics. off? We, we, we put a lot of tape on there. We'll put, we'll put more and everything here. I mean, you could put you can put it on front. What you need to do? We just wanted to make it look nice. Just do it on the corner and the corner, and that will cover yeah, most of it. For Christmas, Archie Horror, Umbrella Academy. <sighs> Bingo. All right, I think I grabbed everything now. Wait, were you out of Street Fighter? No, we had Street Fighter. The show. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Take it, I'm gonna grab one just because I'm being OCD and like that one's amazing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got plenty. Okay. Okay. I feel so greedy. 
<laughs> Wait, you know what? I'm gonna pay you a dime for a comic, okay? <laughs> I found a dime on the ground, I started my day. So let me find this dime for you. I'm gonna pay a dime for my free comic. It'll, it'll cover one tenth of one percent the cost of one of them. <laughs> so I can find the dime. This dime. I think I threw it in my bag, actually. Get your free comics. Oh yeah. Here we go. Good luck dime. I found the dime. I'm gonna pay it forward. Here you go. I found this at the beginning of the day. There you go. Making money now. That's a, 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 uh, that's a good luck dime. <laughs> we wish Eric lots of success with this shop. All right. Okay, we have a cart. Are ready. Okay. okay. Uh, anything else you guys want to see before I rush off? Because I think there's another garage sale I was going to check out. Right. How cool is this? People are just lining up here to get free content. Like, how cool is this? I got it. This is super amazing. Uh, Check this dude out. This dude, he is driving with, he's balancing a uh, television, a flat screen on his head. Holy crap. Holy crap. Man, I wish I was on the better setting so that you guys could see this stuff in a little bit better. A little better. Oh. Did we lose a comic here? One man down. Man down. Okay. Take one bag, pass it down. Okay, uh, do you guys want to go to the other flea market or should I yeah, stop the stream now? Not the flea market, the other garage sale? Or should I stop it now and um, we do a haul video later? I think maybe we'll head over the Jewel Street. Okay, I'm going to hit another garage sale flea market, see what I can find. Man, look how cool this is, though. Absolutely love this. I just love people are swarming again. Free comic books. This is just like the coolest thing ever. This is what free comic book day is about. It's just about. It's not just about giving away comics in your shop. It's about giving comics to the community in general. And this is super cool. Okay, I'm going to head to the other garage sale. Very little Eric, I want to say thank you for being such an awesome shop owner. Oh, thanks, this is like the best free comic shop. Uh, like, it's so cool you're in the park, just giving it away. I think this is amazing. I'm, just, I'm glad we had some nice weather. I know, it's gorgeous. After a three day weekend, like last week, it was terrible. I didn't sell anything, it was raining, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Billy, it's awesome seeing you as usual. I will see you soon. Have fun, bro. Okay. I will. I will. Get a bigger wagon, man. You're doing this is bad. This is better than I had before because when I bought the 80 pounds of graphic novels, I didn't have it. I had to drop it off at Eric's place. <laughs> I know having the kids digging into the comics and getting really excited to grab some comics. So dope. I love that. That's so cool. Yeah, kids, you know, some kids do like, or a lot of kids like comics, but the comics they like are, um. Kids read manga for the most part. Not so much American comics. At least that's been my experience. Kids are way into manga more than American comics. But yeah, free comic book day. I kind of wish the cool kid was here excited. He's not as excited for free comic book day, but he did kind of hint at that he wanted a um, the uh, Star Wars comic book. I don't know how good the stream is without, if I don't set up the stream beforehand, and because we crashed, I think we're just streaming in 720. I think the quality is lower. It kind of bums me a little bit. I need to figure out a way to set up the streams directly on my phone before I go through Streamlabs. So it's just like a little bit of a better of an experience. Hey, Ralph. Okay, we're heading back. Uh, all right, I'm gonna turn on my Jason PS tracking. We're going to 123 Jewel Street. Which, uh, I don't know, we have to aim that direction. Oh, it does, okay. Okay, if 1080p is working, then I'm actually really happy about that. Because I'm always feeling like it doesn't work if I don't do a um, pre-setup. And I guess it is showing that I'm streaming at uh, 
10,000 kps so it's actually streaming at a good rate my ultimate goal is to figure out how to stream in uh, 4k i want awesome awesome picture because I, I enjoy the streams because for me the streaming is so much easier than pre-recorded videos which means i can do more content and i can spend more time just hanging out with you guys than like editing the little short video i posted uh was it two days ago with Bryce Comics, that took me three hours to edit. It took me an hour to film, three hours to edit. So I spent four hours with that video, and it was a short video. Whereas I could do like a big whole video for you know an hour and a half if it's a live stream. And to me, that's more fun too because it's interactive. We can talk about comics if you guys have questions for me or concerns or you just want to find some knowledge that you don't know about. That's what I love. Oh. And my friend Sean is sending me pictures from whatever comic book place he's at. Oh, hey, Alex. It's a gorgeous day. You just missed. Uh, way back there, they were giving away the free comics in the park, which is amazing. Okay, so walk back down Manhattan to Norman. Then make a left. Yeah. I think. All right, Norman. Oh, I'm... <laughs> All right, the park is acting up a little bit right here. The only problem with being live is that sometimes when you're walking, you lose these connections. Yeah, this dude is like balancing a flat screen TV on his head. This is like the craziest thing. Look how crazy this guy is. This is awesome. Right, yes, correct. Okay, I, you have just orientated me. Uh, Anyone want to see if there's any other sales on like Craigslist or something? <laughs> I'm not sure where else to look for garage sales. If I could find more, I would love it. I got my free comic say I bought a whole pile of graphic novels. Having fun so far. And for you guys, I did the first hour and a half today on Papa Walks. So if you guys uh, like hanging out when I'm walking around hunting for stuff, Pop Walks is my walking channel now. I would love to see a bunch more of you guys join me there because it's so much fun. Although a bunch of you guys here now join me there. So I appreciate every one of you guys. I think I got everything. I got most of the comics for Thomas. I think I was missing the Smurfs and one other one that he wanted. So I'm just, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have the energy because I've been up since 8 o'clock last night. So I'm really exhausted for like going all over the city looking so maybe i just have to order like something on my comic shop i think they'll let you get some of the free comic books or something it's all good uh so my my sleep cycle is still uh it's cycling around again so i'm probably not going to go to bed till two or three today which means i probably won't wake up till 11. Uh, but well, if I wake up at 11, I'm, there might be a midnight walk, my time, but I'm not 100% sure yet. It all depends on if, uh, how, what time I go to sleep and what time I wake up. Comes Craigslist. Okay. There you go. I got the, the Jason. Jason's better than Siri. Who needs Siri? You got Jason. Who needs Alexa when you have Jason? Hey, Jason. Where's the closest garage sale? I love it. <laughs> hey, I gotta, this is, the keeps adjusting. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That sounds amazing. Where's that location? Um, Brian, I'm not sure. I am so, mo I really want the walk channel to get monetized. My. My heart and soul is, oh, I'm losing comics. Man down, man down. Hold on one second, I'm losing my bag of comics. All right, Ugh. this thing is heavy. All right, I'm gonna uh, tie this bag onto the handle here so it's a little bit more stable. I don't want it to fall over again. Okay. But yeah, no, I'm, um, I'm really, I really want the walking channel to, to do really, really well. So I'm very motivated to do content. And the walking is really easy. It's something that I'm doing anyway, because I'm trying to get a lot healthier. 
See, I'm gonna be walking anyway. Oh, you know what? I think I did see that one. Oh, you know what that one is? That's the one I went to last year. I did a video where I bought the Star Wars stuff. If you remember that video, I think that's, does it say Eli's sale or something like that? I think that's Eli's sale. Oh crap, keep knocking this over. All right, give me one more second, one more second. This is not adjusted correctly. Get this adjusted so it doesn't fall. Okay. The one with the flask. Oh. Yeah. The guy with the TV yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hold it like this. I think this will hold it better actually. Yeah, except Alex, I'm walking all kinds of weird times a day. <laughs> I'm not I don't have like a standard walking time, which makes it very, very hard. But yeah. Well again, ten thousand steps a day is make me feel way healthier um well here's the thing with youtube i'm all i've for eight years i've been spending 40 to 60 hours a week doing youtube and i haven't found the success i wanted with the amount of work so i've already been doing the work but a lot of that work is editing so now that i'm just trying to do live streams instead of editing it looks like i'm doing a lot more content and a lot more work but what's really happening is I'm spending a lot more or a lot less time actually doing YouTube by actually doing the live streams. So if I live stream for three or four hours a day, that's actually a lot less work than if I do a 20 minute video a day that's edited. So that's why I'm doing like this and I'm having a lot more fun doing live streams because I feel like I'm um, just, I'm interacting with people and I'm having a lot more fun. I'm answering questions. And it just is so much more rewarding. And then when we're done with the live stream, I'm just done. I can go do whatever it is I want to do. I can relax. I can hang out with my family. That kind of stuff. So yeah, I really, I really want the uh, walking channel to do successful so that I can do a lot more content that I enjoy to do. And I want the comic channel to grow. And then I have to figure out what to do with the main channel because the main channel is kind of dead right now. In fact, I suspect if I tried to live stream today on the main channel i'd probably get like 15 people on it get less people okay i'm gonna move over this way let's go this way so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna go to this one sale and then oh there's another sale right here let's see what they got if they have any books or anything I just ceramic stuff. That's true. I do appreciate you, Brian. You know what's funny? I don't feel it at all. It is kind of... It just feels a little bit itchy. But I, um, I take CBD every day for my anxiety. And what it has done is I used to occasionally get gout attacks. And uh, the last time I got one, I didn't even feel it. So I think it actually does a great job kind of keeping the pain out of my feet. So I'm actually not feeling it that much, which is kind of awesome. But Brian, you are correct. I should probably take it a little bit easier. I just squeeze past you. Now what I did miss last night that kind of bummed me out was I didn't do a comic live stream. But I did have that one pre-recorded video I had done like a week ago. I think that was my last pre-recorded video. So I don't plan on doing any pre-recorded ones for a while. The only thing is the live streams, they don't get as many views afterwards. So long term, I don't know how well they'll do. I'm just hoping that more and more people want to watch the live streams as I do them. So that the channel kind of grows that way. Either way, we're going to have some fun. We have uh, about four more blocks to walk this way. And then we're going to check out the other location, which I think there was actually another sale I saw. Uh, Jason, what street was that sale on? Because I think I did have one in my pocket that was another location. Okay, we're back to Norman. It's so much easier having a little handcart than carrying a big heavy bag on my shoulder. A 
Oh, well, it's a pretty big blister right now. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I'm actually not sure what to do with it. And, uh, but you're right. No, I'll be, if I, if I stop walking, I'll be upset. But I might just fight through the pain. Because I, that's the kind of person I am. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that in my uh, pocket. I don't think that's the Eli sale. It's a completely different sale. Maybe I, shoot. That sounded like a much better sale than this one. This is all that I have in this one. It just says this. Stoop sale. 123 Jewel Street. Oh, comic station is open. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go to the sale anyway. Because maybe this one has something and it hasn't been picked over yet. Because the other one just sounded amazing. And the other one was on Craigslist. So that one might have people already. Whereas this one might not have comics. And I might be able to ask to see if they have anything. And then sometimes you do better when they don't have stuff advertised. Whereas if a sale advertises they have the most amazing stuff, then if you get there late, it's usually gone or it's way too priced, you know, way too high. So Jason, last night after the, uh, the I don't, were you sleeping at the end of the stream? I think you were. Uh, my stream crashed last night and Five minutes after it crashed, I saw the, the clouds light up in colors again. I did a little short if you, on the Pop Walks channel. So I posted that short. That short's actually getting a lot of views. It's had like a thousand views. And oh, I'm going to cross this way. Uh, when I posted it, like I think it's in the direction of the bridge. So I still think it's the bridge. I think you are right on that. But uh, I posted it and like eight other people are like, oh yeah. I saw that happen in, uh... oh man, this, I hate this road, it's so busy. People were saying that they saw those so, same kind of lights and clouds like all over the world. It's kind of freaky. It freaked me out for about 20 minutes. That's most local comic shops will do that. My opinion is the, um... uh, I think I can walk. Yeah, I think I can go to the middle at least. I I, I feel like the way a uh, free comic shop decides to give to back to its customers kind of determines how awesome the comic shop is. Eric's an amazing comic shop owner. As you can see, he goes to the park and he's giving away comics left and right. Uh, yeah, that one's way too far away for me, Jason. I would have to hop on the the train for that. I don't think I have the energy. I'd rather go to uh, the streets of Anthony's if I was going to hit the train. Yeah, that's the major street. It's coming from Queens into Brooklyn. So either you take the highway, the BQE, or you take that street. So it really depends on uh, where you're coming from. But that street is always kind of dangerous, kind of scary. I think that's one of the streets where there's a high rate of people that get injured or killed. So very scary street. Well, Jason, get walking. You can use your phone to still watch me while you're you're hunting. <laughs> I want to see what you got. I got to figure out how to stream with people. I want to like, if Jason sees like a, a sale, I want to hop in with Jason and be like, all right, Jason, show me what you're finding. Because it's, it's fun kind of communicating with people. I got to figure out how to do that. I have a lot of things I want to learn how to do with uh, the live stream. I have plans. Hey, other Jason. I have so many plans. But in the meantime, I'm just looking for more comics. I already bought uh, seven graphic novels, I think, for 55. That was the first score of the day. The, uh, the Michael Allen Madman one is amazing. I flipped through it real quickly, and it's like, it's gorgeous. Absolutely like Michael Allen. I would love to buy a lot more omnibuses in general. I just think they're kind of neat. They're just really hard to carry if you don't have a hand cart. Okay. All right, we're right. I think it's to the left one more block, I think. Oh, Eric, that's awesome. I love that my, the sound of my voice is just your like relaxing thing that you do. <laughs> that's so awesome to me. So awesome. Hey, Andrew. All right, Jason. Uh, hey, Jason. 
<laughs> Jason's like my Siri today. Hey, first Jason, would uh, I have to go this way two blocks or one block? I forget, I just turned from Norm. I turned left on Norm and now I'm heading this direction, I believe. Let's see, that's 64, that's 91. Yeah, so we're about this way a couple blocks. All right. But yeah, the, the colorful cloud thing, I got freaked out for about 20 minutes last night because people were like, yeah, I just saw it. And when I saw it, it looked like it was a, more closer in Williamsburg and not by the bridge. So I was just like, I was freaked out a little bit. But so then what I did was I went to Google Maps and I tried to see the direction of the lights and it was exactly aimed at the bridge in Queens. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But still, there's on uh, YouTube, I found five more videos with similar lights in New York City where people were like freaking out. So that bridge is probably just freaking people out every time there's a cloud cover. Okay, I see, uh, I see people with stuff on the street. It might just be clothing though. This might be a bust. This one might be a bust. Let's see if we find anything good. Normally when I pre-record videos, we edit out the 20 minutes of walking and then uh, you just see the stuff. But we'll, we're gonna look, see if there's anything cool. Hello. Hi. Do you guys have any uh, old comic books or? Oh. No, no, okay. I'm just looking for stuff like that. Uh, just tchotchkes. I'll give you guys a quick, oh, there's a movie stuff. All right, let's look at the movie bin. That might have something fun in it. All right, movies and CDs. Uh, it might be. I'm really enjoying it, but at least on the weekends, I'll do the hunts. I'm just not sure what channel I want to do the hunts on. But since it was free comic book day, I thought I would do the um, the hunts in person. Yeah, so most of this is just really common stuff. Nothing exciting, but you got to look. You never know. There might be like a PS3 game or something mixed in. I always check when I see media. But yeah, stuff like this. That's stuff like I don't even pay a quarter if someone trades into my shop. Mm, yeah, I mean, there used to be a time I get so excited for this stuff. Let's see what we got. Nope, nothing there. Ooh, Primer. If you guys haven't seen this, this is a fantastic time travel movie. Absolutely love Primer. Primer is great. Okay, I don't see anything there. Yeah. So, Alex, is uh, every one of my channels becoming a live stream channel? Uh, I mean, a live stream walking channel. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> you don't know. I have no idea. Hey, thank you very much. You're welcome. See you. I do. I'm just, I like the walking because it just gives me something to do that's a little bit more interesting than just showing up a, a blank screen and then I can chat, tell stories, answer questions. Um, okay. So the next location is, uh, the advertisement sounded like a, uh, much better kind of like nerdy garage sale. Oops, let me readjust this so that we're in, up looking forward and not down. Okay, there you go. Yeah, Primer is a fantastic film. I um, And Primer was done on such a small budget. I think they spent like $13,000 to film it. But for me, it was a very, very fantastic time travel, like thought experiment. Hello, Allison. Allison's in the chat. Also, I'm just up in Greenpoint. We're heading this direction now. Uh, hey, Jason, I need directions. <laughs> I think we're going to uh, the other side of the BQE. Actually, let me see if I have it in, um, in my pocket. I gotta find the actual directions. In case my Jason's not working at the moment. All right, we did that one. Uh, oh yeah, all right, so we're going to DeVoe and Leonard. So Jason, uh, it's it's amazing. Next time I will, uh, I, I have to watch it again and then I will give you a, a, uh, a cheat sheet because I absolutely love convoluted, hard to understand, crazy storylines like that. Like uh, Mel Holland Drive, absolutely one of my all time favorites. 
uh oh we gotta go back downtown as well Mohan drive was like that um like any movie that takes me i have to go to youtube and watch for about 10 hours after i watch it just to understand what the heck happened i love yeah 7k i mean that's crazy i could do that if i could make a cool movie like primer for 7k i freaking would do that i sell a couple funko pops and then i make a movie the thing is that we just such a well thought out crazy storyline i mean they start traveling but then they start seeing themselves so it's like themselves from the future coming in the past and it just it gets very it's like anxiety ridden craziness okay back to norman make a right okay i think i yeah all right good my jason um navigation system is working really well right now i'm gonna cross the street though so i don't get it I need to stay out of the sun. I burn real easily. My Irish flesh just, it's like a vampire. It just burns in the sun. Fun fact, Norman turns into white, which is the street my shop's on. So technically you could just walk in this direction and get back to Papa's. Um, Tenet, I absolutely love Tenet. Tenet was another way, which one is this? Uh, oh, should I go back to that sale? The one where I know I should have bought, you know what? Maybe I should go back to this one where I bought the graphic novels. What do you think, Jason? Should I go back to the first sale where I bought the graphic novels in case they have other nerdy stuff out that looks amazing? Ah, oh, I kind of feel like I should. Mesorol, what is Mesorol next? Diamond, I don't know. Between Diamond and Newell. Yeah, I think Mesorol is the next block. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I go back to that one sale that had all that amazing stuff on the ad that I bought the graphic novels at already? It's a, it's a, yeah, you know, I'm going to go because it's only a block, I think. Yeah, but they might have some other kind of like nerdy stuff that's not comics. Although maybe, I, I don't know, maybe he would have said something if he had anything. I was just saying the sign had like the Book of the Dead from the Evil Dead. It had uh, the um, Infinity Gauntlet, like it had all the nerdy stuff. Yeah, no, you don't... Garage sales are all about the deal. If people are trying to sell the stuff at a garage sale for more than eBay price, that's ridiculous. I want something at a great, great deal. Uh, although, but then the other place might have, like, the other place, did the other place say it had comics or just had other cool sounding stuff? Uh, I think I saw Repo Man like 25 years ago. I don't remember it at all, so it never really clicked in my mind. Go to the bigger one. Okay, yeah. All right, I'll go to the bigger one. Because I already wiped out all the comic stuff from this guy. Okay, say comic books. All right, we're running over then. But I'm just saying, look at the ad for this one that I bought the comics already. It has the uh, Christmas Story lamp. Uh, the idol from Indiana Jones. The um, Holy Grail. Uh, is that the bird from... Um, I don't know, Maltese, Maltese Falcon maybe? A, like that just, that ad looked amazing. But I already bought out them, all their comics, so. Okay, let's go this way, we'll go to the other one. We're running out of hours. People are already buying up all the comics. Yeah, it was on. <laughs> they had the real one, not just the fake one. That was one of the coolest DVD box sets back in like 2004-ish, when they put the, uh, the Evil Dead into the Necro... No, no, I can't even say it. And they put it into that like a rubber face book. That thing was amazing. 20, 25 minute walk. Okay. I think it's faster than that. 25 minutes is like... Uh, it's one, 2,000. I'm not sure. That's 2,500 steps. Man, I'm probably going to walk way more than 10,000 steps today. I, I'm, I am... Actually, I'm going to go over one block. I actually think that, um, like, other than the blister on my toe, like, my feet feel actually pretty good. I know, Alex, that's one of the things I always imagine going to some, like, middle of nowhere town and just going up to random old people and be like, do you have any comics? Do you have any comics for sale? I have a feeling I would have much better luck doing that, finding, like, really old, amazing stuff. I'd have to become like American Pickers where I just start going to random people. I see you have a barn. Is there any comics in there? 
I would love to do that though. <laughs> I need to find one of those collections that are just like life changing, amazing. The only problem is that if I got like a mile high collection, I'd end up wanting to keep it all. <laughs> People wouldn't even know I found the collection because, well, they would. I'd do YouTube videos on it. But I wouldn't be selling it. It wouldn't be like graded with a. Uh... No, well, maybe. I don't know. No, I wouldn't want to get them all graded, but it would be cool to get the pedigree label. Maybe I'll just leave it as a pedigree until I'm like 60 and then I'll get it graded. Oh. <laughs> Allison's giving me the side eye. She doesn't like this idea. Yeah, all right, Allison, but by the time that actually happens, we'll have to be rich. <laughs> side eye. I think that's, that's Allison's way of saying, if we do find the most amazing original collection, we'd probably have to sell some of it, at least. At least that Action Comics number one or something like that. <laughs> I could keep the rest, sell the Action one, get the $5 million so we could live the rest of our life comfortably. And then I can keep all the other comics. Okay, deal. Allison, this is a deal. I, I promise you, we will do that. Okay, look, thumbs up everybody. That's the deal. I just have to sell the Action Comics number one. But then what do I do? Do I try to find a low-grade one for like 100000 Fill in the collection because I'll be missing one issue. I'll figure it out when it happens. Okay. Uh, Nassau. I'm going to go back this way a little bit. I I'm not sure how far down I have to go. Hey, Art. I can either consult the Jason or I can consult the map in my pocket. I'm not 100% sure what I should consult. Yeah, reader card. Like, maybe even a coverless copy action one with a color printout on the front would be okay. As long as I get the $5 million. Oh. And coffee sounds about off right now. Left on Leonard. Okay. So three blocks down, then left on Leonard. I got it. Okay. Are you guys having fun watching me walk looking for treasure? This is if you, a lot of people say I'm lucky, but this is what it takes to have that luck. Sometimes you have to walk for miles on end waiting to find the most amazing little treasure finds. But in between those treasure finds, you got, that's true. Tell you the truth, I always said, like if I got a big fortune of money, I know this is awesome, this is super fun. Um, I always say if I had a big fortune of money to spend, whether on a comic book or creating my own comic book, I'd probably hire people to create my own comic book. Cause there's a thing, there's a point where for the amount of money you pay for a comic book, you can get like a one of a kind original artwork for way less. So it's like action comics one for $5 million. I could start a whole comic book publishing empire. I still have like $4.8 million left. So I don't know. That's what I would... Honestly, if I did find like an amazing collection, I would want to keep most of it, but I probably would sell off the Action 1. Just because I feel like that Action 1 would just change my life. Just the money on that alone. Alright, my... My uh, cart wobbled again, but I got tied it better. Yeah, I'm bad. I can't, you know, I'm bad at marketing myself. Like my robots, I'm still trying to sell them. Eight years later, 12 years, no. When did I make those? 2006? Uh, 14, 17 years later. I'm really bad at like Kickstarter stuff. I should do, Jason, when I'm ready, you're going to be my boss or my uh, wingman for if I ever do some kind of crazy thing like that. I feel like you've had some experience, haven't you? Just some old, old style Kickstarter comics back in the day. But yeah, I would love to just start my own comic empire. I think that's why I would do that in like a toy company. Toy company, comic empire. Ooh, a nice glass of coffee, right? It would be nice right now. Does this person stop? Okay. Maybe I'll go left one block this way while I'm waiting. I'm gonna go one block this way and then go over. What would you guys do if you got an amazing Super collection. Would you sell the Action Comics one? 
Or would you sell everything else and just keep the Action Comics one? Like that would be kind of cool too. If you got like $5 million for the rest of the collection and then you kept the Action one. Okay, so you, you also have kind of not had the best experience doing pre-order. I just don't like the idea of pre-orders and having people pay for something that you can't deliver for like a year. The, um, the Megalith book looks really cool though. I saw on, uh, I think Swaggle House showed it. That book looks really cool actually. I kind of want to get it. I'm trying to, I can't see in the light when it's too sunny. I can't read what you're saying. Yeah. But the thing is, I, I like, my life isn't just about the money. But although, if I got $5 million, I mean, you're set for life at that point. And I have, you know, I have Action Comics number one, the foil reprint, and that thing's amazing. So I have, a, like, a cool one. I just don't have the most expensive one. It would be a struggle. But yeah, I would sell it. Five million in the bank would, I mean, I could spend $100,000 a year for 50 years. I'm not going to live 50 years. So $200,000 a year for 25 years without interest, that's good. With interest, you know, you probably make more than that every year. Yeah, I want to see it too. It looks really cool. I like the idea of it. The thing with bad taste too is I think they're production quality is always really high quality like way better than most comics and the artwork is really gorgeous oh oh i keep hitting stuff knocking comics over hopefully these comics make it home without damage okay yeah well i mean i already have so many comics like i feel like the only stuff i really needed is brand new releases and really old stuff most of the stuff in the middle i probably have i probably accidentally overbuy it like every other day <laughs> yeah it's uh from what i can tell i think it's like a big graphic novel like a, I think it's like a old school like french size novel where it's like that little bigger tin tin kind of size and it, i think there's like a hard cover and a soft cover version but it looks absolutely stunning I really, I like, I want to pledge, but I hate pre-ordering stuff. I hate having my money tied up in something that I don't know when it's shipped. And just like you get randomly charged and then you have to like wait. And then the anxiety of, is it going to ship? And then sometimes things don't ship. And then you have like this bad taste in your mouth. Oh, look at street candy. Street candy time. All right, we got a Skyrim for PS3. I'll take that. Awesome. Score. Score, score. Uh, Revolution in Russian. This is uh, just a book. Um, oh! Amazing Adventures of Cavalier uh, and Clay. Isn't this a comic novel? Yeah. That's about like a comic industry thing? And Domino's. I'll leave Domino's for everything else. Okay. But for my own collection, like, score. 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 All right, hold up. I got to put this in my bag. That's what we want. Free amazing stuff. Beautiful Saturday garage sale day because you'll also find cool free stuff. Look at that. Free street candy. Oh, no, I'm disconnected. All right. Yeah, I never read it, but I always wanted it. Always wanted that book. And someone look up a PS3. Oh, here's Leonard. Look up a PS3 Skyrim. What is that worth? Is that a $3 game or is that one that's gone up in value now? I Oh, yeah. I, I did have a bad connection. We're back now, though. We are back. I can guarantee somewhere out there in the universe, in the world, there's more copies of Action Comics buried somewhere. Buried. Not in the dirt, but like in a wall or an attic or somewhere. I know it. There's always something that will be found. Okay. Yeah, left turn. Okay. About five ten. Okay, five to ten bucks. I'll take a five dollar bill on the street any day. Five dollar bill and 
hours upon hours of amazing comic, comic reading. But I cannot see the screen at all in the dark sunlight. I need to find some shade. As you, if smell of vision was on right now, it would smell like bacon maybe, as my flesh cooks in the sun. I'm uh, 